we're back with one more set of 40 cards. All right, let's 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 get some legendaries. Go, Corinne, go. Corinne is our official Fun space presser. bar presser. And I will click the cards. Defender of Argus. Okay. Sweet. So I got my second You one. guys should all look at the uh, the other yeah, two the previous 40 videos. packs. Yeah, because um, we talked... Yeah. We'll, we'll mention that we talked about cards already. And we won't talk about we'll them again. And we'll just skip them, yeah. So... Uh, we talked about all of these. This is yep. an average, below average pack. <laughs> below average pack, no. Defender of Argus was the best card there. Maybe we should just say what the best card is. Because yeah. we've talked about all of these too. Yeah, talked about all of Mark them. Mark of Nature is really good. Yep. Lightning Bolt's pretty good. Iron Beak is okay. Lion Beak is amazing. Yeah, Iron, do you I, see it a lot? Actually, honestly, I'd say the the best. I see it all the time. Okay, all Iron, the time. Iron Beak, Iron Beak Owl is one of the the best value common yeah. cards. Go if you have eighty dust. Go buy two of these. Just do it. Go buy two of them. Oh, can I do that? Yeah, is that me? You did. Oh my god. Okay, click, 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 click. Okay, you click. I I push buttons. We okay, talk. Lightning Storm, probably the best in here. It's the yeah, AOE. Yeah, Lightning Storm. Yep. Uh, and we've talked about every single one of them. Yeah. Okay. Ah, oh, we're running out of cards to talk about. Why don't you give us something we haven't seen? We've Master. done all Damn these it. before, too. Wild Pyromancer yeah, all again. Of them. All of them. See the uh, best card here, probably a useful Brewmaster. Yeah. Wild yep. Pyromancer, because this can be used really yep. well. Yeah, yeah. Explosive Shot's really good, too. Yep. Those are pretty good cards, yo. All oh, right. Oh! oh Ooh. Oh. Okay, Spiffy. Oh my god. All right, I, I didn't have this. I so. totally mirror entity that once, and it has um, it has taunt, right? So you just hit it twice, and it didn't do anything. <laughs> it didn't die. Yeah. It was the funniest shit I've ever seen. Yeah. So Wind Fury <laughs> charge Divine Shield and taunt. Yeah. For an eight cost three five. So I'd say if you had like if you're running a shaman deck and you've got like rock biters or something, imagine having two rock biters in your hand. Putting them on this guy, right? So that's yeah. plus three, plus three. So he's he's now dealing eight damage with Wind Fury. Nine. Because it's three. Oh, yeah, three. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah, so that's like math. 18 yeah. total damage yeah. if you can ever attack them directly. But you can only ever do... Oh, you can do two. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Oh, wow. So it's interesting. I've... So let's say that's the best card in this yeah. one. Yeah. Patient uh, Assassin, the other thing, yeah, we have, second best yeah, one. Yeah. It's pretty good. So it's a 1-1 one, one destroy minion if we, it's attacked. We've talked about the rest. Yeah. Okay. Boom. Oh. Uh, we've talked about all of these. Yeah. Kyle likes misdirection. I do like misdirection. Late I'd... game kind of mind fucks you. Yeah. Fairy Dragon is the best two drop there, I would say. Yep. Yeah. This one, this one's probably gonna be really short. It's probably gonna be the best one because people want to like see everything. Yeah. Um, Unleash the Hounds is, is really good, and uh, you know, Molten so Giant. Molten Giant is the best giant. Yeah. Because the further behind you are, the better it is. Yeah. And that's how good cards should be, not you know, to play with your head. Um, Master of Disguise we talked about. Yeah, Viscerate's good. Viscerate's always good. I have like. If if I if I was if I didn't disenchant instantly when you uh, have the extra cards, I'd probably have like eighty fucking mark of nature. Oh, right mark now. of nature's, yeah. Same, yeah, I guess eviscerate too. Another doom, doom guard. Doom guard's probably the and young priestess. Light spawn and doom guard are the best in this. Yeah. Which, yeah. Yeah. And yeah, the Mogashan Warden's the are, worst are really card good. in the game. The wisp. Yeah. Wisp. Oh, we're gonna be able to oh. make a murloc deck. No, I have all the Murlocs. Oh, you already. do? Yeah, so yeah. Defender of Argus, the best card here. Yeah, definitely Defender of Argus. It's so good. Cult Which Master. is crazy because yeah. of all of all the like. Okay, let's, this is probably I think this is the sixth set of forty that I've got, and and not to mention I only have one arena win because every other every other time I get hundred gold, I just buy a pack instantly. Yeah. And I finally I got my first Defender of Argus in the last video, and I just got that two more. That was after eighty packs. Yeah. yeah. At least eighty. Yeah. yeah. So, damn. Uh, let's look at this. So, Battle no, Cry, give that... all other Murlocs plus two health. And it's a Battle Cry, so it only counts once. Yeah. Uh, ooh, Silence is shiny. I have a Silence. That actually yeah, looks cool. I have a, a Golden Silence. Yep. Okay, next pack. Ooh, 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 ooh. We've talked about all of ooh, those. that's pretty. Um, no, we haven't talked about Lava oh, Burst Oh, Lava yet. Burst yep. is... Uh... So, deal five damage, overload two. So, essentially, it's... A fireball? No, fireball deals six, right? Yeah, but it's the three cost, and yeah. and if there was a fireball in shaman deck, it'd be overpowered, yeah, right? Probably. So you can't have. That's why there's specific cost cards. Lava burst, maybe have one or two. They're really, I think they're really good, even though the lo overload is pretty high. Yeah. So that's why you have to be very specific when you use it. Um, and technically, like you, you tend to get a lot of like spell powers, uh, yeah. especially with the 
with your hero power, you can get a spell power, oh, and then yeah, it becomes a six, six damage. And, seven. and honestly, when I use Lava Burst, it's, I t tend to have that. And uh, spell power is really good in Shaman, just because you've got like your removal so many spells. So deal, deal damage yeah. to everything. So, yeah. Next. Next pick. Rare. Rare. Siphon, Siphon soul. soul, you have to have. It's yeah. like... In a warlock deck, it's a removal and it gets you health. That's amazing. Yeah, and it's and it's it's one of those destroy a minion, so you get right past everything. Like yeah. divine shield taunt. Yeah. No matter how much health it has, dead. Siphon soul, really good. And you get three health for six costs. Mm -hmm. So this is yeah, definite um, value here. Ardent protector, next best, and hyena. Yeah. And the rest we talked about yeah, before. Yeah, we talked about. This one's going by way faster. Yeah. Epic! Ooh, Farsight! Okay, I did some serious research into this, because I was like, what's the point of this? A card that costs three less for a three? It's basically a card that doesn't exist. Yeah. But it's like three, it loses the cost like three permanently, yeah. which means that you can combo it better, but like it only works in certain scenarios, of which I have read, but like... It's, it's highly controversial for being a fucking epic card. Yeah. It shouldn't be an epic. It's not epic. It sucks. <laughs> it's not good. Yeah, it's not good enough to be epic. It's not good enough to be epic. So, bad card. Don't use it. Uh, Disenchant. Yeah. Disenchant. Disenchant. Okay. Okay. Uh, Coldlight Oracle. I've always won where players use this card. Yeah, each player draws two cards. Against so mages? Ha 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 ha. Are you so really I, it's, I think it's only good in decks that you're rushing your opponent down, and the fact that they have all those cards in their hand doesn't mean anything because you're just going to kill them by yeah. turn six. Yeah. This card is only good in a deck that you want your opponent dead by Quick. turn six. Yeah. Are you protect your amazing? That's like yeah. the third one we've seen. So there you go, and circle healing. Both of them are right now. Pew, 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 pew. Golden, Golden yeah. Sunwalker. Golden Sunwalker. Let's look at his animation. He's all shiny. Oh my god, it's a fucking bull face. Yeah. Dude, he, I thought it was a he's man. Got like, he's got like pony... Oh my god, he's ugly. It's ugly, he's Kyle. He's got like pigtails. He looks weird. I don't Shadow like Shadow Flame. I think we touched on this a little bit. Destroy yeah. a friendly minion. Yeah, we did. Yes. If you... um, it's That's also really um good paired with uh, Power Overwhelming. Yeah. Give your minion plus four plus four and then, and then dies. Because essentially you can deal... Four damage plus the additional whatever on a creature that doesn't matter. Yeah. And it's a basic that would, that would cost five for a more than four area damage that exactly. also hits the opponent. Exactly. That's fucking oh, good. Oh yeah, good. This is this is a really good card. It's combo it's good. good. I think we're maybe we can make a warlock deck today. Mm, let's try. Uh -huh. Oh, let's try, guys. Yeah, yeah. Let's, let's do. Warlock. Let's do a little. Is it the warlock mm -hmm. The warlock deck. Okay. Actually, I wonder. I wonder. Do I, am I level ten yet? I think I yeah. am. Okay. So the second best card in this would be Silverhand. Definitely. And probably Sunwalker. Yeah. Cold blood is in. Yeah. yeah. So these three really good. That not so good. That. Yeah. All right. And we're talking on average because, yeah. like, obviously in some cases, yeah, like combo would be good. But yeah. As standalone cards, we've talked about all of these. Every single one of them. Yeah. We've. We seen Kyle all likes enrage a lot because it's, right. I I I. Because you said was paired with some things that have. The been. yeah the, um, enrage yeah, yeah anything, anything with enrage in, in rage is good with enrage. Ha ha ha. Inner Rage? Because <laughs> all you do is get rid of it. Inner Rage. And put, another, in, put an E on the edge. E. Inner Rage, in Rage. In. Inner Rage, in Rage. In Rage. <laughs> okay, Mark of Nature must have. I yep. think that's the best in yeah. this. I have I've Frost got Elemental 60 of those. Is good. You know, whatever. If we skip cards, it's not because we're biased. It's because Actually, we talked it about is them because already. We're okay, anymore. so Commanding Shout. Your minions can't be reduced below one health this that turn. That sounds Draw really card. good. It's it is really good. It is. It's great if you're going for like a mid game sort of rush warrior or, deck or board clear, right? Yeah. So it's just a board clear move that doesn't cost you a card, and everything like keeps its health. It's, yeah. So ba basically, if you save two cards, well, they can't be they can't be reduced below one health. So they still take damage. Oh yeah, yeah. But like, you can save. This costs nothing. Yeah. And you could save up to like up to seven creatures. Exactly. So Obviously the, not that many, the but potential for this card to be amazing good is, is high. Yeah, very good. Direwolf Alpha. Situations. Yeah, we haven't actually seen one of we, these yet. We have these in our shaman decks because they're really good paired with like anything from a flame tongue totem with um, the 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 mana tide totem, yeah, which exactly. gives you cards yeah. and any basically any totem that you get. Because it turns zero twos into one twos, which yeah. is you know better than nothing, mm -hmm. and something that they don't expect, right? Because if you if they play something that only has one health, then bam, you can trade. Yeah, you can't always assume that something is going to be 
able to do damage to you. And this is this is one of those things that gets you that little bit of extra damage that can uh, yeah. make the difference between killing a creature and not killing a creature. Mm -hmm. um, aside from that, we talked about these yeah. three already. Jungle Panther, pretty good. Yeah, Jungle Panther is also a really good card. Iron Beak, Owl, Kyle, yeah. Kyle loves. loves. He wants loves. to make love to the owls <laughs> and has them as his little. You know, you know what pets. I love about owls the most is that they they use sound so like efficiently. Like their yeah. their faces are concave. Yeah, concaved to pick up sound. They're basically like mobile radar dishes. Yeah. And their ears are like offset. Yeah. One's like slightly ahead and one's behind mm -hmm. so that they can um, I triangulate. Watched a, I watched a, a bit yeah, there. I watched a documentary on it where where an owl will will hear <laughs> from like from like fifty I don't know, maybe not fifty feet away, like 25, 25 away. 30 feet away can hear something move underneath snow. <laughs> tunneling through underneath snow. And it, it will and its head never moves like they they have camera shots of, of the head is fixated on this one location because it knows exactly where it is yeah, but the rest of its in. the rest of its body is fluid yeah and it dives in and grabs it from under the snow it's it's, it's so cool it's awesome. owls are my favorite yeah owl, owls it's kind are of an ugly owl because it has like i hate owls that have eyebrows it's got like a beard <laughs> i hate i hate eyebrows yeah. and oh emperor Ebera Koba is pretty fucking good yeah destroy any minion damaged by this minion yeah and it's a beast so I, 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 roll, I roll with this in my uh one of beast. these, rather, in my uh, my beast deck, beast. my uh, hunter deck, cool guy bow. Cool Go look that up. Yeah, you'll yeah. you'll see why it's good. Yeah, it's really good, especially behind a taunt, because then you can sack it on anything. Exactly. Yeah. You can use this to bring down a big creature. Yeah. I've used this thing to kill your Sira before. Like it's nice. awesome. And then Mark of Nature, Raging Morgan's pretty good. Yep. Another Mark of Nature. Holy shit. It's yeah. Like... What is with it? Like there there has to be some cards that are just more common. But then again, we just got another dire. Direwolf Alpha. Repentance and Redemption. So Mana Tide is the best card here yeah. by far. Oh, yeah. It's a must At the end of your turn, it's draw so a card. So good. Uh, I, don't, I don't think it's a necessarily a must-have, okay. but in a it's lot a, of Shaman it's, decks, it's, it's really useful. I love it. He looks so cool. I love them. <laughs> I love all the totems. They're like, rah! <laughs> Fear me! This one does look like <laughs> I have no attack, totem. but you come close to me and I'll fucking slap I want. I want face. a gold Mana Tide totem. I know. I want to see what too. that looks like. No one wants it now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm forgetting my button pressing yeah. responsibilities. As soon as I have to do it, I don't want to. Yeah. <laughs> Arcane Golem. Fuck that Arcane Golem. Yeah, best, we just said that. That was best, a terrible uh, card. The best card here is definitely the useful Brewmaster. Yeah, and then Druid and Stormforge yeah. is pretty good. And Cone of Fold. Yeah. So, you know. The rest of those cards were better than the one rare. Ooh, I got an epic. Shadow Form. Form. Okay, so um, I don't I don't use this anymore um, because I think the uh, there's the Soul Priest that essentially turns your hero power into the shadow form already, and it's yeah. only a, I it's think a it's a three, four cost, five. three, five. Yeah. Um, so get, it's like a shadow form that also puts a creature out on the board, and as soon as it's gone, the shadow form is gone, so you're back to Which healing. Which is nice, because you only ever want to deal yeah. damage for a small, like, when portion. You're, when you're shadow form, after you shadow form, you can't go back. You can't go back. You can't go back. You can't do it. So... You have to be in a good spot when you shadow form, and if not, it's just like if you if you don't get in a good spot, it's just a card in your hand that doesn't do anything. Because you'll just die to damage yeah. done directly to your hero. Yes. That's how you die when you have shadow form. Because it seems really good. It's basically a a better fireball, um, and it can do up to three damage. Yeah. But at that point, you might end up dying because you know you, you're taking you, a priest relies on the fact that it can heal yeah, itself. Yeah, exactly. Like, and and there's there's been so many. Situations where I've lived by like four or five health because I've been healing myself the turns before. And if you have this card, you have to build your deck completely different because like Northshire clerics and other injured blade masters yeah. will not work anymore in this yeah. deck. If well, you play this not card. so much. Uh, you you will see it in Light of Cab has these, and okay. it's a fairly successful deck. But these are definitely the hardest cards to use properly in them, and I found myself not using them half the time, at least yeah. half the time. Which is not. What also, you I there, like. there was a bunch of situations where I used it and it killed me. <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah. So, Cruel Taskmaster, good. Demon Fire, okay. Yeah. Divine Favor can be, but it's good. It's good it in a uh, yeah. Uh, I'll just touch on it again. It's good Rush in deck. a Paladin deck that you have a lot of low cost creatures. We've talked about Eldor all Peacekeeper, of these. Yeah. Elder Peacekeeper, probably the Another best redemption. with the Weaponsmith, then Hyena. 
and Redemption. Kyle would say that Redemption is the best. Yeah, I, I love I, Redemption's pretty good. They're, you can't really compare. Yeah. Like they, they have different, they're all really good um, utility yeah, cards. Gladiator's, Gladiator's Longbow. longbow. Go, Kyle. Okay, so seven cost, five two, make your hero attack, or immune while you attack. Um, oftentimes, five damage is the critical number that you need to make a big play happen. So let's say they've got like, or even if they have a um, like a fire elemental, so that's a 6-5 creature that you can get rid of without taking any damage at all because you're immune. This is probably one of the best weapons in the game. And it is a 7 cost, so it's a bit pricey on the... the but you're uh, probably going to want it late game anyway. Yeah, exactly. So it, it ends up being really good. And we talked about... Oh, these. Else, so. I would say Frost Elemental. Yeah, Frost Elemental is good. Doom Ooh, Hammer. Doom hammer. Okay, really so there good. you go. There's oh, our I second Doom that. Hammer. We're going to put that in the deck now. Yeah. Well, we, are, there, we already have one in there. Do we? Yeah. You I, have I, a Doom Hammer? Oh, I, I, I actually Maybe. used dust. I crafted one. So now we have two. I suppose we could put another one yeah. in. Okay, so Doom Hammer is a 2 8 Wind Fury. So your hero has Wind Fury. You can attack twice with your hero in a turn. Yeah. Um,. It's amazing with Rockbiter, because yeah. if you put Rockbiter on this, all of a sudden you're doing five, Holy shit. and you can hit twice, yeah. so it's pretty crazy. Um, so next turn after this, you would have four mana, because you gain one mana per turn, and then you have an overload of two, Yeah. right? Is that yeah. how it works? Yeah. Um, that's good. You should always have, we should have one in our deck. Yeah. Okay, I, I want to talk about Questing Adventure, because this oh, card yeah, is so, like... It. Overrated, and whenever it's used against me, they do like innovate coin, and like they make it this huge fucking thing. But I can never make it work because it requires some really cheesy shit. Yeah. So quest questing adventure is a lot is something that works really well against new players. Uh, because, Thanks, Kyle. Because. Well, you, did you say it works well against you? Sometimes Have you had it I used just against you. Well, in arena, there's like. I've, I've seen it used really well, but I can never make it work because I never have low enough cards to do it. Okay, well, I'm, just, I'm going from the constructed yeah. perspective. From so the in, const in constructive, you, you have a lot of, like, um, solid removals. Like, you, you'll you find that in Arena, you're more creature-based than anything else. Like, you've got, you, you normally take a good creature over a spell because there's no guarantee that your spell is going to combo well with, like, the rest of the cards in your deck. And most of the spells rely on that kind of shit, right? So... <laughs> And they're not so good in Arena. Uh, but Questing Adventure, I can see being decent in Arena, because every time you play a card, it gains plus one, plus one. Um, so, yeah. But at the Your same time... Your mana curve's a little bit different, though. And I think in Arena, you have to do it slightly towards less expensive cards, yeah. because you can't compensate for the lack of coherentness yeah. in your deck. Yeah. Whereas if you have, like... I don't know, Shaman or anything. You can have higher cost, like, higher cost cards as long as they have, like, good utility early and you have some cards that can deal with a whole bunch of things early. Absolutely, yeah. Like the, like the Doomhammer, except that's a five cost. Like the other one that's a two, three. The other fucking uh, Stormforge Storm Hacks. Yeah. Yeah, Hacks. Um, so the Questing Adventure, I'd say, I'd say it's a decent card um, for, like, I don't know, uh, uh, if Possibly. you're going to make a big play, like, it after... It can be, but it can also... But it's also pass. really easy to get rid of, and it's it's a 3-cost 2-2. Two, two. And if you don't get it above, like, a 4-4, four, four, it's just not worth it. Yeah. And then you, you sacked another two cards for pretty much nothing, because it forces you to use cards. Yeah, exactly. You want you want cards that make it so you don't have to use cards. Mm -hmm. Whereas this one makes you want to. In, in the upper leagues, there are many situations where you could have played another creature that turn, but you don't. Because you know that if you do play that creature, uh, it'll be, like, it's an obvious target for something, or AoE removal will deal with it. Um, so you hold on to it instead. Like, you end the turn with six mana with a Yeti in your hand because you have three creatures on the board already, and you don't want to give him more Flame targets. Strike. Yeah, exactly. We talked about everything else. <laughs> that was the longest we've talked about. We have talked about everything here. Ravenhold Assassin, yeah. Best card, Owl. Owl. Best card. Owl. And the flesh eating. Owl card. good units. Um, we've talked about everything. Yeah. Unbound elementals, pretty good in shaman if you're going with overload. Frost elementals, second best, and dire. Yeah, okay. yeah. Everything else is icky. icky. Everything else is gross. Icky, yeah. big, icky, gross, yeah. bad. Shadow Madness, we've seen this already. That's a gain three, uh, or sorry, uh, gain control of an enemy with three or less attack for the end of a turn. Explosive it's good. Trap is so good. Yeah, Explosive Trap. Actually, we haven't seen one of these yet, so let's talk about Explosive Trap. Um, 
when your when your heroes attacked directly, deal two damage to all enemies, and that includes the enemy hero. So your hero power as a hunter deals two damage to the enemy. So this already it's deals like a it's like a better arcane explosion. Yeah, and exactly. it doesn't even matter that like it's delayed because they're gonna end up attacking you likely anyway, and it feigns other secrets, mm -hmm. so you don't even know what it is. So there's like another benefit. Yeah. So it's it's great because especially early game. Uh, let's say they bring out an ooze or, you know, it's it's pretty good to wait until you have an obvious target before you set the trap because they could just, you know, they could throw something crappy down and then explosive yeah. trap it and then, you know, whatever. Because they're going to want to throw down a crappy card anyway because it could be snipe. So they're going to want to put down, like, a shitty-ass card. Yeah. So, so yeah, it's it's great early game removal. Not to mention you, you have the potential for two costs to do... Uh, it, like if it's a full board, like I've I've had I've wrecked a shaman with this, <laughs> right? Because because the, all their totems, uh, all this the the hero power totems have two health. Yeah. So he had like five creatures or six creatures on the board. I put down an explosive trap. I kill everything but one. So the way that you play against this is to clear the board before anything, because if you clear the board, it doesn't really matter if you lose the rest of your totems because you've already you know le leveled out the playing field. Yeah. So that's the only like negative, but it has there has to be a negative to yeah. it because it's yeah. so good. Yeah, explosive trap is probably the best hunter tr uh, secret. Yeah. So I if like you're it. playing hunter, definitely get yourself some explosive traps. Because yeah. it can do trap, freezing trap not it, so much. It explosive can do trap. up to fourteen damage basically yeah. for two costs, yeah. whereas sniper is always four damage yeah, exactly. to one thing. All right, we'll talk about everything else. Come on, legendaries. Uh, we've talked about this. Harvest Golem. Harvest Golem, best card here. Spellbinder. Spellbreaker. Breaker. Breaker. These really two good. are really good. And Mind Control is eh. Is eh. It, well, it can be good. Can be good. Yeah. And so the rest is like... Yeah. And the rest! And the rest. The rest, the rest you can... Back. Your opinions are probably right about them. Ooh, oh, look how cool. Shirt. All the yeah. fire coming out of it. And yeah, the smoke. Looks, that looks pretty sweet. Uh, uh, we've talked about everything here. Looks like a Fire Nation thing. Oh. <laughs> We're getting a lot of those Alpha Wolves now. Yeah. <laughs> As soon as we said it, we didn't know yeah. that. Ancient oh, Age, we've, nice. we've talked about this. So it's a 4 cost, 2, 5, that gives adjacent... Battle Cry give adjacent minions plus 1 spell damage. Yeah. So it's it's the only... Or, sorry, it's one of two cards that give more than 1 spell damage upon casting. Uh, the only other one is that dragon. It's that, like plus 5 spell yeah. damage, and it's a 9 cost. Yeah, 9 cost. So you can't even... Pair it with so anything. this, it's it, you'd think it'd be good in a mage deck, but you tend not to have a lot of creatures on the board when you play mage. So it's better in something like a paladin or hunter or something like that. Kyle uh, noted to me while we're on the drive here. It's like if you play the, why do I always forget that? Mirror image. Mirror image, yeah. and then place this between them. Then you get two zero two spell damage plus one yeah. taunts, which yeah. just seems pretty good. Yeah, that's it's a pretty like I'm not saying it's it's useless with mage, but it's uh, definitely better with other classes. I'd say another owl. How many fucking owls do we get? Yeah, I don't know. This Stormforge is... axe is pretty good. Yep. Owl the flare. Flare is like specific. You probably only want uh, ever one. In those we got so many more legendaries. The first set of forty. Oh. Wow! Yeah, profit failing. Nice. Double okay. the damage and healing of your spells and hero power. So this wow. is cool. I've I've wanted. I've actually wanted to experiment with oh, this. Oh, you got I'm a glad force of nature. Yep. I those are, Jesus. So it's a seven cost seven seven. So right there, it's like it's a, a war golem, right? Yeah. Just as good. Yeah. Um, and it's double the damage and healing of your spells. It's like wow. So even if you did damage to it, you could heal it fucking four. So let let's uh let's take something from the uh. Pa or sorry, priest deck that deals damage. The oh, fuck, what's it called? Like holy fire, or whatever. Or smite. That's... Smite is a one yes. cost yeah. that does two damage. Yeah, so that would deal four damage. Uh, holy what? fire deals what? five damage and restores five health. Now would deal stack. ten damage and restore ten health. Oh my god! So it becomes really good. Um, I've yeah. never like. I haven't had the opportunity to use it, so I will get back to you whether or not this is actually like worth it. Force or not. of nature, I've seen this used pretty well. Summon three two two treants with charge. Yeah, if you have ten mana, you can also com uh, combo it with the um, the spirit one that makes you. Yeah, spirit something? of the forest. So, so you have your you have your three uh, treants with charge. with charge. You use them all. Give them two two death rattle. Yeah. Like summon a two two treant. And then they all die, and then they come back as two, the two same treants. thing. Exactly. <laughs> it's very good. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. So that was a good pack, damn. You're like, and we never get any enemy. And, and oh man, I just haven't been getting any. Le oh fuck, it didn't work that time. 
Uh, counter spell. Ooh, I haven't oh, seen this Oh, Elemental looks sick. Look oh, at him. Oh, does. Ooh. He looks like he's underwater. Oh, is he? He is. Jesus. All these things. Yeah. The things that we learned. There's yeah. bubbles. I see bubbles. Yeah. And, and, and plantation. Cool stuff. Okay. So, uh, counter spell. Secret. When your opponent casts a spell, counter it. And that... That doesn't Flame mean that strike. they get like they get yeah. That doesn't mean like, they get Blizzard. destroyed or whatever. But it just doesn't happen. The spell just doesn't happen. Yeah. Uh, so it's amazing if you like put up a bunch of creatures like you you set them up for an obvious flame strike, and then you put out a counter spell and they're like ha your five creatures are dead. Here's my flame strike and you're like bam. There's there's the uh, counter spell. Nothing yeah. happens. And this is better than the spell. Bender thing, which makes you target a one three. Yeah. It can be better. Yeah. Because like the one three, like if it's a an area damage spell, then it's gonna apply exactly. to everything it anyway. It does. It the, the spell bender doesn't yeah. do it, it won't it won't be activated, I'm pretty yeah. sure. Yeah, it does it, no um, it doesn't activate. It doesn't activate with flame strike. So this is a much more reliable counter. Yeah. Uh spellbender can be really good if you're playing against specific classes with specific kind of things. Yeah. Okay. But counter spell is almost always a good uh secret. Next best is Unbound Elemental yeah. and Harvest Golem. Both are really good. And the There was an ancient brewmaster there too. Whoa! Nice. Captain Greenskin. Okay. Give your weapon plus one plus one. Interesting. Pirate. Oh, there is a pirate that's an epic. We yeah. didn't know that. Maybe legendary. Legendary. But it's not. We're, we're talking about classes. Didn't though. it say epic? Isn't epic a thing? Epic is purple. Legendary is better? Legendary is better, yeah. Legendary is the orange. Okay. Purple. Sick. So it goes, it goes common. So, Fairy Dragon, Spellbreaker, Captain Greenskin. Yeah. And this Master Swordsmith, well, fuck Mad you, Bomber so. is not good in letter yeah. decks. No. So, yeah, Battlecry, give your weapon plus one, plus one. So, uh, maybe in a warrior deck, I think that would be pretty cool. No. <laughs> Spitfire. Man, I never get any legendaries, ever. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that looks sweet. The the ocean behind her? Bloodsail Raider. You can see her boobs more clearly now, too. Yeah, of They're all animated and shit. Yeah. They're wavy and stuff. Oh, there's a boat! There's a boat! Oh, there is a there's boat. There's a boat! It's got treasure I in it, I like too. this better. See? All the other ones are, like, cool effects, spinny, and um, ritual circles and yep. shit. And this one has a fucking boat. Uh, we haven't seen a Savannah High Main yet. So, so fucking this good. is this is great card. I love Savannah High Main. Six cost, six five. Death Rattle. When it dies, it summons two, 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 two hyenas. Wow, that's hard to say. Two, two, two. Two, two, two. Two, 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 two. So, yeah. And it's beasts. It's and good. It's, it's really, it's really good. good. Savannah, Savannah nice. High Main, I'd say, if you're running a Hunter deck that isn't one of the cheesy uh, um, Unleash the Hounds deck, yeah. Savannah High Main is a must. And like, it's like it's, it seems like an obvious um, uh, silence target, but there's so much like so many creatures that can be silenced. Yeah. In. It's prob they'll probably waste their silence. Yeah, on exactly. Else and first. even even if they do silence it, it's still a six five for six, which isn't bad. No. Right. Um, how, how I, how I measure value a lot of the time is you look at the cost and then you look at the damage and then you look at the power. Two, so one if it, is if typically it's, good. Yeah. If it's a fairly decent six, like six cost for six, five, like, look at this. This is a six cost for four, five, right? Mm -hmm. That's not as good. Um, technically this could do more damage in one turn. It could deal eight damage. But at the same time, it can be silenced or it has to attack something twice and take and twice the damage. it doesn't have initiative, so. Yeah. That's the thing, is that it can be de dealt with pretty easily. Exactly. And iron, like the dark iron dwarf is great because it's... Um, four, 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 and then it so also... It's, it's a two. 10. Yeah. So it has like one point... Uh, it's like a 2.3 to 1 or yeah. something. Yeah, eventually, eventually I Kurt math. and I will work out the math for some this math. And, then, and then tell you why it's, it's good and that kind of thing. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, good. Next, five packs left. Epic. Rare, rare. Mortal Strike, we haven't seen one of these yet. Okay, so it's deal 4 damage. If your hero has less than uh, 12 health, deal 6 damage instead. It's a 4 cost. I would love to see this buffed. I would love to see this cost 1 less. I think it would be much more useful if it costs 1 less. Because right now, it's it's 4 cost for 4 damage. And it's, it's health plus armor, right? Health plus armor? What do you mean? Oh, so no, no, no. It's, it's health, right? It's if only it has less health. So if you have two health and twenty armor, it still counts yeah, as six. Yeah, it still counts as a six. I think, but even that, even that's the four cost for six damage. Isn't that great? Like that's yeah, that's, that's a good. fireball. Yeah, it's a fireball. Yeah, so at best of times, it's a fireball for a warrior, and not so great. I don't really like this card that much. I would at, love to see at it the get same buffed. time though. Four damage, 
Okay, four damage is basically a frostbolt because it's a frostbolt and hair power. Yeah. So I think that this is a frostbolt and a thingy, and I think it's fine the way it is. Yeah. Okay. It's it's Does that all make right. Sense? It's yeah. all right. The, the only problem is, is I've never really seen a good way to work Kyle this wants into everything a deck. Make everything OP, so nothing is OP. <laughs> yes. Take the Dota two model. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Power overwhelming. What we talked about before. It's so good if you pair it with the void thingy. The void chair. The other stuffs. Yep. All the stuffs. All the stuffs. Okay. Next pack. Come on, epic. Holy fire. Ah, this is the one I was talking about. It's funny because I don't have... This is the first one of these I've got, too. Okay, so it's deal five damage, restore five health to your hero. So this would be great with my new Prophet Valen, my new shiny legendary, because it would deal ten damage and restore ten health. Yeah. Crazy good. Uh, and else. everything else we talked about. Okay, so next pack. Sweet. Next up, pack up. Uh, Ooh, oh, we, we, we actually Ooh. got that. Ooh, a golden! Golden Defender. This is actually a great pack. You got two explosive traps. Yep. Wow, this is a pretty good one. Except for the questing adventure. I'd say oh, the shiny! Yeah, no, that's what I said. Shiny Did you defender. see his shield go whoosh? Yeah, it does. It goes, it, his uh, axe, his, this goes whoosh, and then this goes whoosh. What do you think? I want to see. Does go it? whoosh. Okay, maybe it does. I don't think maybe it does go whoosh. No whooshies. But look at, look at his eye. You know, it's cool. He looks awesome. He looks crazy. Um... Yeah, we talked about the Bestial Wrath before, but let's uh, talk about it again. Let's give a beast plus two attack and be immune this turn. I have I haven't used this yet, so I'll have to get back to you whether or not it's really good. But it seems, on paper, for a one cost, plus two and, it's and plus immune. plus two attack permanently, right? And I think I think it being immune means it's not going to lose any... It's not going to take damage. It's not no, gonna no, take I've any seen it damage. used. Yeah, okay. It doesn't take any okay. damage. So yeah, that's pretty cool, I think. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Absolutely. Explosive trap. Yep. Awesome. Uh, Custom adventure, the worst in here. Yep. Ba Blam. Um, Counterspell. Counterspell. Yeah, we talked about that already. Force, Ooh, okay, good. here's Abusive Sergeant, something we haven't seen. It's a. Okay, be wary of one drops. Yes, be wary of one drops. Be and this is specifically good. a one drop that you never really want to play on turn one. Never. Um, and that's be just because Battle Fry is give a friendly minion plus two attack this turn. Hmm. Uh, so, get in there and fight, maggot! <laughs> um, yeah, you basically get a nice little buff for a one cost, and um, it can be used really well for, like, removal. I like its name now. It makes sense. Piece of Sergeant. Yeah, yeah. Do your mark! <laughs> do it! Go, <laughs> do it! Last pack, last pack. Doing the dance, please give something cool. The worst pack ever. Blessed. No. Uh, double immunity okay. sack. Yeah, I fucking hate yeah. Alarm of It's yeah. the worst shitty thing ever. Yeah. The, the, the best thing, the best thing was when I, uh, I mirror entityed an alarm bot, and then I had Yasira in my hand, and I got Yasira out on like uh, I think it was like turn four, <laughs> and then my opponent just left. <laughs> it was really okay. funny. Okay, that that's okay. Yeah, but otherwise. But that, that okay. was his alarm bot that yeah. I got <laughs> technically. I, like I didn't have one in my deck. Uh, 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 yeah, uh, and then blessed champion. We saw this before, but I'm not sure whether or not it's good. So yeah, it's a five cost. It's oh, it's a lot. Yeah, it's fair when it's worth. Indeed. All right, so that concludes this time around. Let's see how much extra dust I got. Ooh, 2,000. Okay, so now I have, like, 6,000 dust that I can go we're and buy make, the rest of the We're going to make a cards. Warlock yeah. deck, so stay tuned, guys. Yep. Go to well, the next actually, video. Actually, no, 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 no. This, this, oh, this is way later. Yeah, this will be way later Never than mind. the Warlock video. Okay. okay, guys, it's already out. Yeah, go it's back already out. Now go back in time and watch it. <laughs> right. You guys right. are time travelers. See you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.